Hello Virgo. This is a general reading. I am going to do a separate love reading for everyone as well, but this will cover other topics for you, finances, career, and anything else that the angels would like to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started. I have already prayed and shuffled the decks. I'm going to be pulling three cards from the Energy Oracle Cards deck by Sandra Ann Taylor, two from the Magical Messages from the Fairies by Doreen Virtue, and one from Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Interesting. We'll lay that there to look at in a minute. Okay, and the last one. Now, the first card that we have here is, it's the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Let's see if you can see that a little bit closer up there. Now, the fourth chakra, again, chakras are our energy systems. Uh, everything is energy. The fourth chakra, that is your heart chakra. And with this card, you know, it's talking about love, compassion, self-acceptance, compassion, love for yourself. And so I'm getting that for a number of you, you've been through a lot of healing and releasing the past few months. And you're, you're now at a better place because you've done that healing of your heart, heart center, that you're now able to receive love from others, as well as receive love from yourself because I get a number of you have been really hard on yourselves um, so the angels are congratulating you on getting to where you are now so that you can have compassion for yourself because I do get a number of you are compassionate for others but you've not necessarily been compassionate toward yourself and um, you're now getting there so that is great news now for others of you I'm getting that you know you've had a lot of growth in many areas of your life but there is still some healing that's needed on your heart chakra because I get some of you have recently undergone like a, a broken heart, a bad um, bad romantic love experience. And, and I get that, you know, your hearts are broken and you're gonna, you know, need a little bit of healing. So they're encouraging you to take the time for that healing. And they're getting, and, and again, getting for a number of you to stop, to not be so hard on yourself. Oftentimes we get caught up, you know, if we have a relationship that fall, fell apart or something, we get caught up in the beating ourselves up. You know, I didn't do this right. I, I could have done that differently. I, I could have done this for him or that for her. And, and we just beat ourselves up. And what I'm getting is that you, you need to have compassion for yourself. You did the best you could in the circumstances that you were in and, and, and be okay with that and know that you did the best. And, and be compassionate with yourself and loving with yourself. Um, and for some of you that this was a, a romantic heartbreak, you'll prepare yourself for the um, next relationship that will be coming your way. Next card we have here is financial constraints. Now I'm getting for some of you that, you know, money's tight right now. Um, I'm getting for some of you it's tight because, you know, you're looking at starting your own business and you, you're, all the expenditures and things that go into that. And I'm getting for some of you, it's, it's just tight because of it, your responsibilities and, and things that you have to, you know, that you're responsible for have increased. Your, your payments have increased. Um, for some of you, it may be you've got a new car or you got a new house and, um, or maybe you just recently moved in the, in the cost of moving. But you've had some circumstances recently that just really have increased your expenses. And, and what they're wanting you to know that it's okay. Right now, it's just not a time for indulgence. That when you're looking at things, you know there is a big difference between what you want and what you need. And right now, it's just a time to focus on what you need. And they are going to take care of your needs. Nothing to worry about with that. And they're saying that things are going to get better. You're, you're going to have abundance rolling back in. This is just a time right now to get through because I, I do get that your expenses have increased for some reason. And again, it could be that some of you, you moved. For a number of you, you may have recently gotten married, engaged, you moved in with some, someone into a bigger house. Some of you may have recently had a baby. And then for others, it's like, like starting a business, like it, like your, your business expenses have gone up. But again, I'm getting, it's just, it's because better things are coming in. You're growing your family, you're moving into a better home, you're starting your own business. These are good things. So just hang in there. Money's just tight right now while you're getting through this. Don't worry, you're gonna have more finances coming in. Just don't worry about it. Um, the one thing I do want to remind you is to not stress and worry about the lack of money. 
because often times what happens is if, if we sit there and we think all the time that, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? How am I going to meet my bills? Um, how am I going to be able to pay for these things? We, we come from a place of lack. And when we come from a place of lack, we draw more of that to us. Um, so don't worry, don't fret, don't stress about it. Just know that God's taking care of you. The finances will be there. The money will be there. You have nothing to worry about. And then you won't cause yourself any blocks from keeping, keeping that money, keeping that abundance from flowing into you. Because it will. You're being completely taken care of. And they're just reassuring you of that. Third card we have is the sun. Now, <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm going to flip this deck of cards over here in a minute. There are 53 cards in this deck. And what I get is <laughs> there you have recently gone through this total turbulent time where everything has been tipped over topsy-turvy in your life, um, completely changed, shaken up, broken down. Oftentimes, you know, this will be the card right before this will be like, you know, the tower in traditional tarot. It'll be like the tower card where they're shaking everything loose and knocking everything down so you can start over new. But the cool thing is on the bottom of this deck, when I laid out your cards, if you look here, if you have these cards similar to traditional tarot, the magician is, is a card about talking about coming up with your plans, deciding what your future is going to be. You know, you're deciding between multiple things and, you know, Determining what your future is going to be, tearing things down, preparing for the future. And then the very next card you go into is you've torn everything down, decided what you want, and then bam, new beginnings rolling in. So some pretty exciting news. So I, I do get for a lot of you, you're just going through a, a big time of change, change for the better. You've got a lot of new beginnings rolling into your life. Um, and when you look at this card, it, it's really beautiful and hopefully it'll zoom in. You guys can see it a little closer. So you see, I think she's a mermaid. Yes, <laughs> she's a mermaid sitting in the fountain. She has flowers blooming all over her. It's, it's like a, a vibrant time of life, the new beginnings in spring. Um, you've got, of course, the sun. The sun's very powerful. Um, the sun nurtures the earth. The sun ushers in springtime, new beginnings, blooming flowers. Um, and I'm getting for a lot of you, that's very similar to your life right now. Your life is at a point right now of new beginnings. You have a lot of things opening up, starting. I get for some of you, it's, it's a big new project. Uh, for some of you, it's like a new business. Some of you, it's a, a f starting a new family, having a baby. Um, and for a large number of you, you're birthing a new you. You have torn down all of the old. You've, you've released addictions. You've released um, people in your lives. You've released all of the things, the career that you didn't want. You've released all these things that you didn't want that were holding you back from the beautiful life that you truly desire. And they're congratulating you on that. And they're telling you to not stress and worry because I get, I get that it's stressful right now. You know, you've got money, you've got, you know, when, when there's so many things changing and shifting at once, it can be, it can be a little scary. It can be a little stressful. But what they're wanting you to know is everything's good. Don't stress. These are beautiful things coming to fruition in your life. And they're congratulating you on that because you've done a lot of hard work to get there. So congratulations. Okay, next card we've got here is Business Venture. If you read the bottom of it, it says trust and follow through on new beginning, new business ideas or career opportunities. Um, you know how earlier we were talking about, for some of you, you've got the financial constraints because of a new business venture that you're starting? Because I, I do get for a number of you, you're, you are starting your own business. Um, you're branching out on your own. You've decided you're not going to continue to work for others. You're going to start on your own in a path and in a business that you truly desire. I do get for some of you, this is actually talking about a career change. You're changing jobs. And what they're wanting you to know is it will be successful. And trust your intuition. Because I get for some of you that you haven't yet ventured out, like you've been thinking you came up with that new business idea, or there's this career that you'd really like to do, but you've been hesitant to take that leap. They're wanting you to know that trust your intuition, trust that you're, what you're getting, and trust those ideas that you're getting to follow your dreams. You have them for a reason and to follow those um, because it is going to be successful. When you look at this, you see a bunch of elves and they're hovered over coins. So it is going to be very, very fruitful for you. Lots of financial abundance pouring in from that. So have no worries, no fear, and be fearless as you move forward. Next card we have is Flower Power. 
And if you can read the bottom of this, it says, spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. I'm getting that this is tying back to those of you that still have some healing to do on your heart. Um, because flowers are very powerful. And even just to, just beyond the, the scent of them, like when you walk into a room and there's flowers everywhere, you just, you feel your spirit, spirit just being lifted up. You just feel a little more joyful, um, a little more energetic and lifted up. So I, I'm getting that a number of you would benefit from, you know, going to a garden. Now, of course, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's a little challenging right now to do that because we're still in winter, but um, still gonna be a little challenging to, uh, walk into a garden and find flowers right now. But if you can't do that, go to a florist shop. Go um, go buy some fresh flowers. Put some fresh flowers in your home. And for some of you, if you've got a lot of stress right now about finances, stress about changing careers, stress about a new baby <laughs> that you're gonna be having, um, that you would benefit from using some essence oils of flowers. You know, like rose oil helps with your heart. Um, helps with heart healing it helps opening up your heart for so for some of the of you if you have like a maybe had a this bad experience with um, a lover in the past and you're not really opening up to love you know rose oil will help you with that it, it will open up your heart open you to loving yourself and loving others lavender lavender oil will help you, if you to sleep for those of you that are stressing you know use some lavender oil put it on your pillows um, put a little you know, satchel together at night with some dried lavender, some dried flowers, and you know, rest that on your eyes, or you could even put that on your nightstand um, because it will help you relax, calm your nerves, help you fall asleep, and help you de-stress. So I do get a number of you would benefit from getting around some flowers, buying some flowers. It'll help lift your mood and spirits. And the last card we have here is Archangel Jeremiah, and he is saying everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand all is well now i think for most of you because everything has been i just get that it's been a very turbulent time recently there's been a lot of changes it's not like one thing has changed it's not like you know oh okay i'm just changing jobs i get that for a number of you it's multiple things at one time you're you're changing jobs while at the same time you're starting a family and then at the same time you know you've had family concerns come up and, and, and i guess it's not just one thing I, I get that it's a lot and i get that i get the number of you are feeling really overwhelmed by it but what they're wanting you to know is to not be overwhelmed that everything's okay Everything is happening as it should, because also sometimes when there's a lot going on, you know, you can really get discouraged by it. Um, so they're wanting you to know not, to not be discouraged. It's okay. They're helping you at times that you are feeling stressed. Use some flowers, pray, ask for some help. Um, because these are, these are blessings coming into your life. They've shooken it all up and apart so that these new things can come in. Um, and they are there to help. So... During this time of change, because I do get again, it's a quite a bit of change at once. Um, take the time, go to a garden, get flowers, take a walk, meditate, do some yoga, go exercise, go do some kickboxing or go so, do some boxing, whatever it takes to help you just de-stress, center yourself, get yourself balanced and get yourself back to a calm state so that you can easily transition through all these changes. Um, and remember, everything's okay. It's working out divinely and perfectly. So it's a pretty good reading. Some exciting stuff going on for you guys. Um, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. Filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.